and and the CPUs. Oh my God! It just went all oh, oh oh it just popped right off. Hey guys, Crewman here, and I'm on a quest to attempt to take off this CPU cooler from the most important CPU I own. And why is this normally routine process kind of a big deal? Let me give you some backstory. This CPU right in here, I resoldered 41 pins on it. I bought it and it had a solder ball on it, as you can see here. And then here are the steps that I took where I basically got 41 pins back on it. Now, one pin broke off in when I put it in this motherboard and essentially only one stick of RAM works. So it's not the best miner, but it has long ROI and I don't want it to die. But this cheap NZXT water cooler that I bought off my buddy who owns a recycling company uh, does not cool this thing adequately enough and I need to save space. This thing takes up entirely too much space. So the goal is to get it out of this air cooler or out of this AIO and on to this Deepcool AK 620. Now you guys know I love Deepcool. This is not sponsored or affiliated by them in any way as they are currently under sanctions and hopefully one day I can edit this out and say otherwise but this was purchased independently by me before the sanctions went in place and I'll be damned if I don't use it. I bought it and I can use it. I'm not advertising. I'm not telling you to go buy it especially if you live in the US as you would be in violation of sanctions but this is a darn good air cooler and I really really want to see how this ultra cheap air cooler will replace this AIO and give me improved temperatures and save on space. Without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, disassemble this from this mining mining case, which I need. I, I don't need anymore. It's just taking up too much space. And then we're gonna go ahead and very ever so gently peel this off. And then we're gonna go ahead and install this cooler. We're gonna test it with the temperatures. This was way too hot. This was running at like 75 C, which I needed to be way cooler, um, especially as the rest of my air cooled rigs are doing very well. And then I'm going to put this on some print mounts that were donated to me by 3D Printmaster, who is also who is actually a sponsor of this channel, and you should go check out his parts. They are great. So without further ado, let's uh, let's get to this. All right. So first, we're going to disassemble this thing off the mining rig, and then I'll show you the nerve wracking part, which is where I attempt to uh, get this cooler off. So let's get to it. So now the moment of truth. I am not sure if I'm going to regret this, but I really need the space. So it is a risk that I'm willing to take. Now this motherboard will, I can't take the CPU out of the socket or it will not work anymore. I promise you that. So we are going to ever so gently screw this off. I am doing this live on video because I am ultra nervous about this. Um, I, I basically am, I can't clean it. I can't do anything. I'm gonna put CPU paste over it. I'm gonna ever so slightly take this off and whatever bracket is on here is the bracket that I'm gonna use unless I need an, another one. <sighs> I'm really nervous, guys. Um, I just don't want to bork this. I told myself I'd never change it, but I need the space now. like. And, and the CPUs, oh my God, it just went all, oh, 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 it just popped right off. Nothing, I don't think anything moved. Whew. All right, nothing moved. Um, I, I'm uh, too afraid to clean it. Um, I'm, I'm way too afraid to clean it. I don't, I don't know what to do, guys. Should I, should I attempt to clean it? Um, I'm super nervous. I'm gonna be very gentle in how I clean this. I, I really, really don't wanna take any chances. I honestly give myself a 50% chance of breaking this thing. And we can't have that. 
So I'm gonna screw this off real quick. Oh, goodness, this is nerve wracking. Uh, I got the CPU cleaned up enough. Like I can't have any movement in this socket or I'm, I'm done so. Uh, uh, I'm really worried, but thankfully the, these brackets, like this, this isn't an install video. This isn't anything. This is just me knowing how these work. And um, I'm really nervous, honestly. Really, really, really nervous. I'm only leaving this, like, I'm, I'm not running this on slow-mo because, like, you guys can watch me. I'm terrified of breaking it. If you don't like, if you don't feel like watching it, feel free to skip through. I think it's interesting because I've been talking about preserving this thing for years now. I just needed to get enough of them in where I, it, I just need to get one of these in to support it. Well, is it in? Is it in? Because once I get one of them in, I can raise it up and get all of them in. With I don't want to take this off until I have the, the cooler on. And it's a really good cooler. I'm going to do a more in-depth review on it later. I'm hesitant to really, uh, due to sanctions, I'm hesitant to say too much about it. But it's a good cooler. And if you don't live in the U.S., you owe it to yourself to check it out. And there will be no links. You can Google it and you can find it. Uh, I will put it on the parts list in the comments. I love the company, but that's all I can say on that for my own personal benefit, safety. Um, all right, so we're installing it. I think I'm gonna be okay now. Like I just, I just need to make sure that this is tight. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off once this cooler is on. All right, so now we're gonna put this th thermal paste on. We use Arctic. Grizzly MX4, it's great thermal compound. Been using it for years. All right, so now we're gonna peel this off. I didn't even look at the instruction manual. I just assume I know how to install this. It doesn't really matter what way you put this because it's not a non-digital model. So we're gonna try to save this. I think I got it. I think I'm okay. Um, I think I'm all right. I think I'm all right. There's a bug in here I gotta get out. So now I can take this motherboard off of here and I'll be back in a second with that. All right, so I think I'm out of the woods as far as the dangerous part. I hope you enjoyed that part of the video. That was the scariest part. So here's a quick time lapse of me building the rest of the rig. So thanks again to 3DX Printmaster for that stand. It is a super uh, easy stand to build in and I'll put a link down below for it. I highly recommend you check his stuff out. I use his parts exclusively for my CPU farm and I've had no issues. So now let's take a look at if this thing even turns on, fingers crossed, and what the temperatures are like in the shed. It works. All right. It booted. The AG, the AG400 works. No issues. There's nothing on the postcode, by the way, everyone should get one of those, super useful. And then it obviously shows up on my little 710 that could. All right, so no issues, I'm gonna test it. Now I'll get the temperatures in a few minutes and I will report back to you for the final part of this video. Whoo, I was worried I killed this thing. Here it is in all its glory, the little 3900X that could. This was my very first CPU in my CPU mining farm when I thought I could just build a CPU mining farm out of broken CPUs, which I did for a little bit, and then I kinda realized it was a lot of work. I save a ton of space by getting it off that mining rig. Basically, I cut its footprint in half, and I need all the space I can get, especially with my CPU mining rig. All right, you can see it's about uh, almost 97 degrees in the farm. Uh, you can see the AK400 digitals. Most of them are ranging from 68 degrees to 73 degrees, and I have a pair of AK620s too. 
And let's compare all of these to the new AK620. And you can see right here that we are at about 73 degrees. So it's not too bad. Uh, it's a little bit on the higher side, but considering the cost of that CPU, uh, I thought it was great and it definitely will be adequate in the shed. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more CPU mining, GPU mining, and watching me almost break parts content. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. Crew man out.